This is Clem, and we're going to see if Clem has fleas. The way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take a flea comb, which has really tiny teeth on it, and we're just gonna comb through his fur. Now when you have a little kitten who has fleas, you might not see anything right away, but go down here towards the base of the tail, and what you'll notice is a lot of the times in that area, you're gonna start seeing something that looks like that. See these little black specks that look like dirt? That is flea dirt. And that's a pretty good sign that this little guy has fleas. Anytime I take in a new kitten, I always comb through them with a flea comb to make sure I know if fleas are a concern. Fleas are a big problem for little kittens because fleas suck the kitten's blood and they don't have a lot of blood to spare. So when a kitten is left with an active flea infestation, they can actually have fatal anemia. So we wanna deal with these fleas right away. Even if you don't see a flea on your kitten, if you see flea dirt, those little suckers are hiding somewhere in there. Look at all that nasty flea dirt. Let's find out if Clem's friend Jimmy has any flea dirt. He's purring and purring. So Jimmy has a little bit of flea dirt too. And what about you, Chris? Do you have fleas? You do? Everybody's got fleas. Here's Debbie, and you can pretty safely assume that they probably all have fleas, because those little suckers will bounce from cat to cat and lay their eggs. Actually, look at that. I don't know how well you can see it, but right there we've actually caught a live flea in the comb. So while I'm combing through her fur, if there are any live fleas, they might get trapped in between these tiny teeth of the comb. What about you, Nigel? Do you have fleas too? Oh boy, Nigel definitely has fleas. Yikes. So if you comb through a kitten and you see a bunch of black dirt, but you're not sure if it's from fleas, here's a little test you can do. You can do a little test by taking the comb and rubbing the dirt onto a little paper towel. Once it's on your paper towel, you can take some water or saline and you can wet it. What you'll see is that it actually starts to bleed red into the paper towel. That's because this is the flea's waste from consuming the blood of the kitten. So the fleas will suck the kitten's blood and then poop it out onto their fur like this. This is a big no-no. Now Clem is only three weeks old, so he's too young to receive any of those topical treatments that you put on the back of a cat's neck. We're not gonna use harsh chemicals on this little guy. Instead, we're going to give him a flea bath. So let's go get set up. One of the first things we're going to do is we're gonna heat up a heat pad for them because we need them to be warm the moment they get out of the bath. So I'm gonna start that now. While their heat pad is warming up, I'm gonna collect my supplies. I'll need a couple of washcloths or hand towels, some small sponges or cotton balls, and some kind of sudsing cleanser. You can either use a baby shampoo or a dish soap as long as it is fragrance free and I recommend getting something that's cruelty free, of course. Now I'm gonna start the water and make sure that it is nice and warm. The first thing I'm gonna do is apply a light layer of soap and water around his neck. This acts as a barrier so that as we're washing him, the fleas can't travel up to his head. So there's his little fence. Now that he has that, I can wet the rest of his body and suds it up. As you're washing him, the suds from the soap are going to break down the bodies of the fleas and actually kill the fleas, so they'll rinse right away along with the dirt and the eggs. You want the entire thing to take less than a minute. We're only washing from the neck down. We're gonna protect Clem's head and ears and nose and mouth, and we're just gonna rinse him from the neck down. You're gonna dry the kitten off as best as you can. And you can take a clean flea comb and comb out any fleas that didn't get rinsed away. Now we're going to use our little baby sponge. We're gonna wet our baby sponge and put a little bit of our baby shampoo on it. And then we are going to spot clean his head. A lot of fleas will travel to the head. So we wanna to try to really get in there around the ears, on the face, 
avoiding the eyes, avoiding the nose, avoiding the mouth. Now we can rinse the head with our sponge. All right, so I'm just getting all of that soap off of his head. Then we're gonna get you nice and dry and put you right back on your heated bed. So he has his heat pad here with a little blanket over it. We're gonna let him get nice and warm and we're gonna wash everyone else up. Okay, Jimmy, let's make this quick. It's not the favorite experience of kittens. But this is gonna help you be clean and get rid of all the nasty fleas. All the nasty fleas. Good job, Jimmy. Okay, now we're gonna go in your heated spot. Wetting the area around the neck and applying a light layer of baby shampoo. Now that we've got our flea fence, we can wash the whole body. Try to do it nice and quickly. Don't forget to wash the paws, the tail, all of the places that those little fleas might be hiding. Once you've sudsed up the entire lower body, you can give them a rinse. I'm sorry, buddy. Get them as dry as you can, and then place them on their heat pad. Debbie's turn. Okay, rinse, rinse, rinse. That was not fun. I'm sorry, I know it's not fun. Wow, you did great. Last one, Nigel's turn. We did it, Nigel. Good job. So these little guys live in an incubator and if you have an incubator at home, you'll wanna keep it set while you're doing your bath time for your kittens. But if you don't have an incubator, no problem. Just put them back in their warm, cozy spot on their heat pad or wherever you're keeping them. But you wanna make sure that you remove any blankets that may have been touched by them when they had fleas because the flea eggs can actually be on the blankets. So we're gonna remove the old blankets, we're gonna disinfect really quickly, and then we're going to put some nice new bedding in there. So this is their blanket from before, and it's pretty dirty, and it probably has some flea eggs on it. So this is gonna go in the washing machine. I'm gonna take my disinfectant and spray it down. And then I'm gonna take a nice new blanket and I'm going to put that in their space. So now the kittens are ready to go back in the incubator. One, two, three, four, five. After their bath, sit with the kittens and make sure they really are getting nice and dry and warm. I'll actually take the kitten and use a little toothbrush to fluff their fur and make sure that they're getting aerated and they're able to dry nice and quickly. Yeah, we gotta get nice and dry. Now ideally, they will have no more fleas after this, but if you see a flea again in the future, you can just repeat the process. Once they're a little older, around two pounds, they can typically be given treatments that are labeled for that weight. But for these little teeny tiny guys, a flea bath is definitely the way to go. Good job. Good job. You're looking great.